They handed over their prized possessions to a professional, but hunters are up in arms tonight after they say a taxidermist vanished with their prey and their money. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart tracked down the answers in tonight's special assignment. And a warning, some of the images in this story may be disturbing. It's what we love to do together. For Katie DeLorenzo, hunting is more than just a hobby. And I've just been surrounded by it my whole life. Um, so it's really having organic free range meat to eat. Hunting for our family is really a lifestyle. Known to her online followers as New Mexico Huntress, De Lorenzo is a conservationist with a learned love of New Mexico's landscape and wildlife. In 2017, she and her dad got the rare opportunity to hunt oryx together. And after six grueling days, they each took one home. I knew it was an irreplaceable moment with my dad. They processed the meat. Then, like many hunters do, De Lorenzo wanted a mount made of her oryx to memorialize her special hunt. Female hunters are definitely growing in the population, but when I heard there is a female taxidermist, I just thought it was really neat. She went to wildlife artistry in Bosque Farms, where taxidermist Chris Morgan took her oryx and a down payment. The agreement was a year later my animal would be done and I would pay her um, you know, in chunks when I could, and I was honestly more concerned with um, how soon I was paying her rather than when she was promising to have it done. Fast forward more than a year later, De Lorenzo has paid a thousand dollars in full, but still no mount. Instead, the shop is closed and Chris Morgan vanished. When did you realize, I don't know if I am going to get it back? Well, I think I realized things were a little precarious, you know, probably a year and a half into it. It's now been two and a half years. She says most of her calls went unanswered, and when they did talk, Morgan would claim the work was almost done. I got a little fed up. In December, De Lorenzo realized she wasn't alone. Her post about it on Facebook was shared almost 900 times. And out of that came about 30 other people that are in the same position. Well, Chris Morgan was referred to me. Dwayne Chavez says he paid Morgan to mount his Barbary sheep. I was handed off back in October 2018 to be ready in January 2019. And here's a year later and nothing yet. It's a story they're hearing again and again. There's a family from Durango that gave her 10 animals from an Africa trip. There is a white buffalo. There's a trophy elk. The list is robust, to say the least, and I think, you know, we haven't even heard from all of the victims yet. Bosque Farms Police are now investigating what could become a felony embezzlement case. It's grown into a quite larger case just in less than two months. Chief Paul Linson says it involves tens of thousands of dollars. We're going to send this case to the district attorney's office. We're going to let them review the facts and make the determining decision if it's going to go criminal or this is going to be a civil matter. Some have receipts, but none of the victims we've spoken to had contracts with Morgan. A lot of these dealings are with a handshake and a smile and a deposit. Um, and you just trust that they understand, you know, the value of that animal as much as you do. I think those days are unfortunately gone. I mean, you can't really trust someone's word. You have to be dedicated. Carl Chavez isn't associated with Morgan in any way, but after 19 years in the business running Mountain Legends Taxidermy in Belen, we're bonded, insured. He understands the pressure to produce a high quality product for every customer. Bring back memories of the hunt, maybe with family members, uh, a father, a child. It becomes an heirloom at that point. He says it's typical to take a year to complete a job, but communication and contracts are key. Chavez says he's heard from Morgan's unhappy customers. Nobody knows what's going on in somebody else's life, but I hope that for her sake and her name that she's able to take care of the customers that she has. We called Morgan's listed business number. The subscriber you have dialed is not in service. We eventually reached Morgan's mom, and Morgan herself called us back. She declined an interview, but says she fears for her safety after receiving threats from angry customers. She claims she had to close for personal reasons and move out of state, but is working to return the animals to her clients, either finished or unfinished, and has her mom handling the correspondence. My biggest fear is probably that uh, Chris, you know, got in too deep and left the animals somewhere to rot, which would just be heartbreaking for all of us. What would you like to get across to her? Things happen in every one of our lives, you know, good and bad, you know, but 
what is right is right. They hope Morgan will do the right thing and return their prized possessions. On special assignment, Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 13. Morgan wouldn't tell us where she lives now, but says she plans on making a trip to Albuquerque soon to return the items to her customers.